Well, Gary, many congratulations through to your second ranking event final that you went right down to the wire against your close friend, Elliot Slesser. How much does it mean to have got through there? It means everything. Um, it was the same for both of us. Um, like everybody knows, me and Elliot are really close pals and we're both quite like-minded and we both would have went into that game still wanting to really beat the other. You know, obviously it's a massive occasion for both of us. We've both never had a title, so we're both really determined to try and get some some tournament on the CV, you know. How do you go about the psychology of a, of a match like that and that, that magnitude against such a close friend? It must be quite difficult. Yeah, well, I don't know how Elliot felt, obviously, but I, I sort of found it a little strange. I mean, we've never, we've never played each other on tour and since my second stint getting back on, I've been on like eight years since then now and him roughly the same as well and we've never played each other. So to play each other in such a big occasion, a semi-final of a ranking event, where it means so much to the both of us. A little bit of us was like, I wish we'd have sort of played in a different round or something, you know, obviously it's great that we're both there, but one of us has to lose and one of us not going to be in the final and the other one is. So I just tried to block as much of that out as possible, but it was really hard. Obviously we practiced with each other quite a lot as well. And um, yeah, you've just, you've just got to try and let your instinct, your competitive instinct take over, I guess. And that's all, that's all that really happened. And given you've been quite self-critical of your form earlier in the week, how pleased were you that you performed right on time in, in, in the big match in the semi-final? It, it was better. It was better, I'll obviously say that. But um, there's still, there were still quite a few dodgy ones in there. Um, breaking off, leaving them reds, playing a couple of dodgy safeties, leaving them in. You know, if, I, if, if I'm playing well, I don't do these kind of mistakes. Um, I just hardly ever play well. And... I've come to realise as I've got older and older, a lot of that is just putting a lot of pressure on myself, not intentionally, but sort of just feeling so tight and tense on my shot because I'm trying so hard. Um, so I actually sort of sped up my me, cue me action a little bit in the last couple of frames there just to try and get a bit of fluency, a bit of momentum, and thought if it doesn't stay on lane, it doesn't stay on lane. There's nothing me forcing it's going to gonna help. So, yeah, I sort of... So you could kind of say metaphorically, I sort of swung my arm at them a bit, but... Um, they were going in the hole, so it gave us a little bit of confidence and it, it meant that I could play a little bit better than I have done this week, yeah. A best of 11 final tomorrow evening, it'll be a packed out cry, just how much are you looking forward to that occasion, it'll be huge. Really looking forward to it, um, I would look forward to it more if I can get on the table tomorrow, put another couple of hours and sort of get myself really ready for it. There's nothing we enjoy more as players when we're playing well. And we've got occasions like this, it's absolutely unbelievable, and especially with a big crowd there as well, it's great. Just with this game, when you're struggling, it's not that the enjoyment goes, but you can't sort of grasp that opportunity properly and make it feel like it's really a great occasion because you know deep down you're struggling with your game and to an extent you don't want to embarrass yourself and play some ridiculous shots. But um, like I say, I've been getting better and better all week, so that's all I can ask for. I'm through to the final, everything's a bonus. and. Um, but don't get us wrong, I mean, obviously I'm going to be trying my hardest. I want this title as, as much as anything. I've not won a tournament, as I keep saying, and uh, I think it's about time I did. Even even though I am struggling on a touch, I'm just hoping I can find some, some good form. Yeah, finally a bit of a cliché question, but as you say, how much would it mean to you to, to get over that line and finally, finally lift a trophy? It'd mean everything, yeah. Um, and like I say, it, it's the performance as well for me. Like Obviously the title's massive and it means so much, and that's why I'm battling and trying so hard. But it would be the icing on the cake to just have that feeling that, yeah, you, you were in control of yourself there, you played well. You know, you, you can't play perfect, but as long as I can feel good and feel like a, pro a proper player, that's all I'm after. And if I can do that and get the result as well, that'll be the icing on the cake and um, it'll be amazing. But it's, listen, it's a best of 11 tomorrow, two great players in the other semi-final as well. So they're going to be both gunning for it and uh, I'm going to be, I'm gonna have to be on the ball. Good luck. Cheers very much.